Since one of the most important aspects of the Facilitating Learning Online Fundamentals course is engagement and collaboration, you will want to make sure that you set yourself up to be able to communicate and collaborate the most effectively. And this is going to require that you make a few adjustments and a few tweaks to your email infrastructure and uh, make sure that you are getting all the messages that you want. So if you were to take a look at the course itself, you'll notice that we really only have a few discussion forums, the announcements, and then each one of the modules has a discussion forum. In, in the announcements, I, I'm going to be putting out a message on a weekly basis uh, to new people who are joining, and then if there are some updates and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to overwhelm you with messages, but it's going to be really important that you actually subscribe to these. Now, you're automatically subscribed subscribed to this um, announcement and you will be receiving an email notification. Some of you might be thinking, an email notification? How come I don't get an email no notification? Well, if, <clears throat> if you're not getting an email notification, the case might be, it might be because we, our system is set up so that you get an email sent to your VCC student email address. So to give you an example of what that is, if you go to the participants area, and you should have access to this as well. This is one way of seeing who is all in, in the course. Um, you're seeing the instructor's view, so it's a little bit different. My view is a little bit different than what you have. Um, but here we go. This is a student email address. So if you're not a faculty member or staff at VCC and don't have a vcc.ca email address already, you will be assigned a student.vcc.ca email address and all communication in the course goes to that student email address. So uh, if you are a VCC staff member or a faculty member, you're automatically getting the email so you don't have to do this. If you're not and you are a student from another institution, which the majority of folks are, well then there's a couple of things that we are going to encourage you to do. The first thing that I'm going to encourage you to do is go and configure your email and have that student email address forwarded to your, your main email address. Let me show you how that works. So to set up a forward for your email address and actually to do a lot of other things, all you need to do is simply scroll down this menu here on the left hand side and you'll notice there's an FAQ for students. Guess what? This is a wonderful area where you can figure out how to do a lot of different things. How do you contact your instructor? What internet browser? How do I change my name? How do I change my email notification? Ah, here we go. Look at this. Hmm, why am I not getting email sent by my instructor? Interesting. Well, did you check your junk folder? Or here is the big issue forwarding your VCC email to another email address, right? And to redirect your VCC email, it's simply a matter of clicking on this particular link and then going through the setup of mail forwarding, okay? So it's right here. You're gonna have to go and do this yourself. I'm gonna let you do it, but I'm just pointing to you, pointing you to where you go to find this information, okay? So keep that in mind. You have the ability to find it now. So again, it's in this FAQ for students and it's in the section about, can I forward my VCC email address, address to another, um, another email address or the VCC student email to another address, right? So there's a bunch of other questions here that you have here and you'll notice you've got some other you know, uh, folders and, and, and issues here that you might want to take a look at. Um, this participant section is, is, is again something that you should be able to see um, and so you should be able to see other folks who are in the course and if you click on their names you should be able to see who's there. The other factor I want to bring to your attention to make sure that you are getting all the communication um, is that have a look at the way that your um, system is configured for the introductions forum, right? You have the ability to subscribe to this. You have control over what's going to be happening. You have a lot of different things that you can do. Um, I've already subscribed to this, but you want to make sure that you have subscribed to this forum and that you are getting emails. Um, the default setting is is configured so that you are automatically subscribed, but quite often people will turn that subscription off or they might have turned it off overall. You want to make sure that you are getting those, uh, e those emails sent to you from the forum. This is going to be important. You'll see the volume of participation. There's a lot of messages that go through here. Now, um, I have all these. I get an email sent to me every time a post is made, and this allows me to monitor what's going on so I don't have to log into the course. I can get a sense. I can very quickly scan through that. 
um, I group them, I forward them to a, a folder where I store them. This allows me to monitor what's going on. When you are facilitating an online course, being able to respond to questions and issues quite quickly and rapidly is extremely important. So you, you are going to want to be able to monitor that. So make sure you've got that set up. Um, you know, and check check your other check the other forms to make sure that you've got that set up as well. And this is where an issue came up. I, a couple of students had noticed that I had posted a promotion for my synchronous collaboration and they didn't know about it. And that's because they weren't checking, they weren't looking ahead and or they might've turned off their notification. Now, you'll notice that there's a lot of activity happening. Well, guess what? If you go to the synchronous collaboration forum, um, there is a little bit less activity. It's just starting to go, but guess what? Andrea is asking questions or there's people who are going to be posting messages here, promotions. They're going to be asking for, for participation very, very shortly. So you do need to start monitoring these forums ahead of time. Don't just stay where you're at. Take a look ahead. Make sure that you've got the uh, forums configured so that you are subscribed to them. It's an issue of being subscribed. And that means you'll get an email notification. Again, that email notification goes to the VCC student, VCC ca email address you want to forward that to your regular email address and then you'll be able to monitor things much more effectively so with a couple of little tweaks you'll be able to monitor the activity that's going on and guess what after a while you know if you're getting way too much email you can go in and turn off the monitoring so let's say after a week or two of the introduction forums when a whole bunch of new students come in well you don't you want won't need to monitor what's going on there you can turn that off so at, at the key point you can turn off that email notification and and then you can stop the flow of email. But while you're monitoring uh, that activity, it's not a bad idea to have that forwarded to your email. It just, it'll help you to stay on top of things and stay uh, in contact with your colleagues. Just a couple little tweaks, and hopefully I've provided a context here to help you be a bit more efficient, a bit more effective as you're facilitating learning online.